Welcome to another episode of Asia Unscripted. Kind of wanted to do a video out here when the weather is not so nice. So we're about to get hammered by some rain here shortly. It should be good because that will uh, water the plants that are down here. <laughs> uh, so that's that's a good thing for me. That saves me one thing. Uh, anyway, some updates about what's going on here in Southeast Asia. Um, Thailand, very interesting development um, happened in the last day. So the governor of Phuket, they're still planning to open up Phuket on July 1st. Um, that's still the plan. However, uh, bars and clubs, discos, they will not open on July 1st. Um, they will remain closed. So that might change a lot of people's plans because when you go to Phuket, yeah, you go for the beaches, but a lot of people, they also go um, for the entertainment, you know, to have a drink, sit down, have a drink at a bar or go to a nightclub or, or whatever. So that, that and again, that might change people's plans. They might put going off going to Phuket off for a few months because um, who knows when that will uh, be allowed again so that's one thing in Thailand um, cases are still you know running about 2,000 to 2,500 per day in Thailand so I don't think the alcohol ban is going to be lifted anytime soon um Malaysia I just read an article that they're going to be deliberating tonight to determine if they're going to continue the full lockdown past June 14th or not. Um, cases are not going down to the levels that they would like, so they may extend that full lockdown by another week or two weeks. Uh, here in Ho Chi Minh City, we're under the social distancing or as I like to call it, lockdown light. Um, that's supposed to end, uh, I believe, the 14th or the 15th of the month. I think that's gonna get extended because uh, they still have a number of cases and some of those cases, they don't know uh, where the origin came from. So they do extensive contact tracing and there's just some cases out there. They don't know where they caught it from so I expect that they'll extend the uh, social distancing or lockdown light by a week or two at least um, other vloggers online like uh, white monkey syndicate and uh, text patent Saigon have said you know they expect it to, to last longer so I, I tend to agree um, they don't take any chances here in Vietnam. So, uh, Philippines, same old, same old. They they uh, they are making the f international flights from Cebu land in Manila again. It's still a, a fight between the federal government and the Cebu provincial government. So um, that. The version of flights is supposed to last through tomorrow, but it might get extended depending on, <laughs> you know, if the, if the governor of Cebu decides to follow the national um, requirements versus what she wanted to do. Um, but more and more um, government officials are supporting her position. So who knows? They. Um, they might change their minds up in Manila and, and let the flights come back to Cebu with the uh, the lesser restrictions on, on arrivals. So we'll see about that. Uh, we'll get news about that over the weekend. Um, what else is going on? Indonesia cases are skyrocketing again. They're talking about maybe extending their five-day quarantine to the full 14. Right now, it's just 14 days for people from the Philippines and India and uh, the, the countries that have large a large number of cases in the region. They have to do quarantine for 14 days, but most of everybody else, it's just five days. 
Um, but there's rumors that they may extend it to 14 days for everybody that's coming into Indonesia. So if you're planning on going to Indonesia, get there soon. If you want to um, only have five days of quarantine versus 14. Um, let's see, what else is going on? Uh, Japan. Uh, most of the population doesn't want the Olympics to go on, but the government and the Olympic Committee are saying full steam ahead. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, cases in Japan are, are still going up, and they're afraid that having all these people, all these athletes, will... Um, spur new cases and maybe even a new variant who knows <laughs> um so what else is going on in the region we talked about malaysia the philippines thailand vietnam uh laos laos is they reopened um from their lockdown so we'll see how that goes who knows who knows um here in vietnam a lot of people are leaving because of the visa stuff I told you about before um, I I see that people are going to Mexico, some people are going to Indonesia some people have been asking about Ecuador and Peru and Colombia so it's, it, it sounds like there is going to be a shift of a lot of people from Asia to Latin America um, Latin America um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I liked Mexico. You guys saw my Mexico videos. But I don't know about Ecuador and Peru and Colombia. I don't know what the situation is in those places. If, if cases are going up or down. But it is an alternative. It is an alternative. So uh, people are talking about that. And now I can feel the rain starting. So um, I'm going to head back in. And watch this storm as it comes in. Uh, I do like these uh, storms. As long as I'm not driving in them. If I'm driving in them, ah, forget about it. Anyways, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, hit the uh, bell, notification bell, to get uh, notifications of new videos. And just be safe out there. We're not over this whole pandemic thing yet. Uh, there's... Here in Asia, there's still a long way to go. So we'll see how things go and hopefully things go well. So for Asia Unscripted, this is Jason and I will see you guys next time. Take care.